Okay, this is a uh, short video uh, demonstrating the use of the uh, the uh, new uh, cutter for the barrel seat for the 1911 80%. And um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how this all works. Uh, first of all, um, you're going to want to uh, center center your uh, your gun up in here. Uh, and there's some uh, set screws on both sides of this uh, cut area here where the the frame goes in, and uh, that will be set at 750 when you when uh, when you receive this. But some frames may vary in width, so you may have to adjust and center your frame. And uh, we recommend using a feeler gauge. Any automotive store would have a feeler gauge. You could use that on either side of your frame to uh, make sure that your frame is centered properly in the jig. Uh, then, when you go ahead and mount your frame, we're going to first make sure this. Uh, Arbor is all the way back in the retracted position. Then you're going to want to put your frame on the fixture with the hole in the frame uh, on this locating pin here. That's going to line it up for you uh, in the right position for the uh, for the uh, hold down bolt. So you'll want to go ahead and put that on. But before we put that on, we're going to want to put a little a little uh, cutting aid. Uh, this uh, stick cutting lubricant. Uh, we want to put some of that on the cutting head inside of the jig here. So just get some on the, the cutter. It's a, a solid lubricant. And I'll go ahead and get, get that on the cutting head. All right. Now we've got a little lubricant on the cutting head. We'll go ahead and put our frame in the, in the jig. And then uh, we'll put it in a vise to hold that while we're doing our making our cuts. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and spend a little bit of time lining up the uh, centering up the frame in here. Uh, you'll want to adjust these screws using uh, using a feeler gauge. But I want to go ahead and put this clamp that holds the frame to the the jig. Uh, in so that the jig doesn't move around too much. Uh, you'll want to have some movement of the of the frame in the jig so you can make your adjustments, but you just want to make sure it's it's held down against the jig. Then you can uh, use these uh, uh, set screws on the side and using a feeler gauge you can uh, you can center your your frame up within the fixture. We've gone ahead and measured our frame first and uh, figured out what size feeler gauge is necessary to get our frame perfectly centered in the jig. And this is the uh, feeler gauge that we've, we've chosen. So it's fitting in that side very well and that side very well. So we've got our, our uh, adjusting screws located so that the frame is right in the center of the jig. And we can go ahead and uh, tighten down our our hold down clamp and make sure that's good and snug and then we'll just take our inexpensive battery drill and go ahead and, uh, and uh, mount the battery drill onto the uh, end of the arbor make sure our clutch is set up high so we don't have clutching going on then I'm going to go and uh, and run this in, but you want to make sure you start turning it be before it hits the, the frame inside there. So hold it back, get your drill moving, and then go slowly forward until you feel it cutting and you just move at a steady pace forward. So you reach the uh, all the way to this the uh, stop collar on the uh, arbor, then you know you've you've made the com completed the cut. You will remove your drill and uh, go ahead and remove your frame from the jig cutting jig. And we can take a look at the cut. 
it's a beautiful smooth uh, barrel relief cut or barrel seat cut. It was a very nice job.